Hey, what's up everybody? This is LA Knight. And I am back with a review for you. I'm still at my parents' house right now. Uh, the only reason I can actually take the time to do this review is because for the second day in a row, I have damaged myself to the point that I can't really do much. Um, I shouldn't say in a row. I was actually sort of kind of taking it easy yesterday after damaging myself the day before, I think. Time is fluid when you don't have a job. Um, but then today I had to do something on my mom's computer, and I can't actually sit at a computer for more than about 20 minutes without excruciating pain and uh, because of issues with some of my bones. And uh, I had to do that for like three hours. And so now I'm laying down because I feel like I'm going to die. Anyway, so here I am back to do a book review, and I just realized I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Never mind. Um, I actually, like, I hit the record button without thinking, what am I re reviewing today? And then I remembered. Oh. So I read the cutest graphic novel by Katie O'Neill. Kate O'Neill. It's called The Tea Dragon Society. It's so cute. This is not going to be very long, by the way, um, because... Uh, well, the graphic novel's pretty short, unfortunately. But I guess maybe because, like, they didn't want to... The publishers didn't want to put, like, too, too much money behind it. Because, like, soft media, like, you know, like, certain episodes of Steven Universe or this graphic novel that I'm talking about or, um, like, the show Bee and Puppy Cat, which is on, on uh, YouTube, that's kind of a newish sort of thing it seems like, and I wonder if it's because the world's going to hell, um, but it seems like it's a new sort of thing, and so maybe, like, the publisher wasn't quite sure how it would do. I don't know. I can't read minds. I don't know what the publisher was thinking. I'm just gonna assume they had a good reason for keeping it so fucking short. Anyway, but it's so cute. So it's about this girl named Greta who's part goblin, and she wants to be a blacksmith, kind of, it's not that she really wants to be a blacksmith, but her mom is a blacksmith, and she wants to keep blacksmithing alive and, like, not have it be a lost art. But then also, she is walking home one day, and she sees these two little, like, feral dragon thingies attacking this other little dragon thingy. And so she saves it by feeding the two little feral ones because they're just hungry. And then she takes the the injured little dragon to her house and patches it up and her dad is like oh that belongs to the tea master that lives you know across the village or whatever ew cat hair in my mouth gross thanks a lot mackies um and uh so she takes it to the guy who's some kind of weird i think he's actually a kitten which is the basic, basic, somewhat inaccurate, but basic definition of a kitten is a Chinese unicorn. You see them in, uh, what's that anime? Um, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Twelve Kingdoms, there we go, by Fuyumi Ono. Um, and I say by because it's an anime based on a book series. Um, but Mac, what are you doing, you little nut job? He's going nuts because we had a storm. And so now he's all crackly and cute. But I'm not petting him because he'll shock me to death. Um, anyway, uh, so you'd, like you see them in, in the Twelve Kingdoms. Uh, because in the Twelve Kingdoms, every kingdom has a kitten that's, that was uh, born. And it's like divine duty is to help the emperor or empress of their kingdom rule the kingdom justly and wisely. And how that happens is very interesting, but I'll talk about that in a different podcast because I've actually read, I want to say, all four of the novels that have been translated into English. Um, anyway, so she meets the tea master who's a kitten, and he's got a super hot boyfriend. Husband? I don't know. Um, they're together, and they've been together for a long time. Um, and it turns out that, like, he raises tea dragons, and they grow, like, tea leaves of different kinds on their antlers, and you have to prune them really carefully and stuff, and it's just really, like, this really cute little lore fantasy graphic novel, and, like, you get, you have this really interesting little, like, put-together family 
of of the um of the the tea master who's like a Kieran or whatever and he's got magic you find out because also if you brew the tea dragon tea then you can read uh some people's memories or something and so like Greta learns to brew the tea and she drinks some and get that is Mac having fun on his on his uh scratchy post and she uh gets some some memories of uh I can't pronounce the the kitten's name it's like Hesekiel or something but it's spelled funny and then the the husband's name is Eric um you see some of their memories how they met and teamed up to go adventuring but then Eric was um was injured by a by a monster uh hit him with hit him with its tail and broke his spine and so like they ended up retiring from adventuring but they're still together and they raise tea dragons now and it's super cute and they're so in love but then they've also got sort of like a little foster daughter who's maybe like 14 or 15 um and she's got memory problems because of uh she overextended her psychic powers and it fucked up her memory or something it's just it's a really interesting book um it's really short it's really easy to read you should see if your library has it it's just really cute the art is like really soft and friendly and and like i could see people making like plush dolls out of these characters and honestly i would like one if i wasn't broke i'd probably buy one um there's gonna be a sequel coming out at some point i don't, I don't know when sometime this year um well i guess i guess then it'll have to be in the next like three months because, right wait hold on October, November, December, four months. I'm I'm tired and in pain, so I have a hard time counting sometimes. Um, sometime in the next four months, because it's scheduled to come out in 2019, which ends in four months. Um, but it's just super cute, and I actually cried a little bit, which might have been because just because I was really tired, and and feeling kind of emotional anyway. I'm not sure. But I just, I really enjoyed it. The art is, like, really, really nice. And the storyline is very simple. It's just about Greta, like, befriending these people and, you know, learning her different crafts with, the, you know, the tending of the tree, of the tea dragons and the blacksmithing. And, you know, there's no, like, major, um, what's the word? Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. There's no major, um... Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. Like, villains, you know, no, like, big quests that have to be completed or anything like that. It's just it's just this really soft, simple story about this girl and these people that she meets. And it's really nice, and I like it. And I don't know. Everyone should read it. It's super cute. You should see if your library has it. And if they don't, you should put in a request because it's awesome. Um, anyway, so yeah, like I said, that's, this isn't going to be a very long review because... Like, I didn't have anything to bitch about. I didn't have anything to discuss. As far as I know, this book has been received very well. Um, you know, it's just, it's a fun little book. And I liked it. Um, so, yeah, so shout out to my patrons. Uh, Amanda, Kati, Chelsea, Cynthia, Marion. I don't have my list. Shit. Marion, Shanuka, Lorian, Lena, T... Tina, I tried to say Tiffany, Tina, <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm missing one. Oh, shit. I need my list, damn it. I don't have my list. But, you know what, I'm really sorry for the person that I'm forgetting. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Also, I don't know how to count right now, because my head feels like it's gonna implode, but... Shout out to my patrons because you guys really are like super helpful and I love sharing book information with you guys because I want you to read all the cool stuff that I'm reading. And, uh, you know, press the like button if you love me, subscribe for more of me and, you know, check me out on Patreon and, you know, Twitter and Tumblr and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Ow. Just pulled my own hair. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. And remember, you are loved. And you're doing your best. You're doing great. I'll see you guys later. Bye.